Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here. Welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I love to encourage people to say yes to Jesus. And someone just asked me recently, if I say yes to Jesus, what exactly am I saying yes to? And the answer is quite simple. Well, you're saying yes to Jesus. But let me explain it to you. Because when you say yes to Jesus, in that great model prayer that we call the Lord's Prayer, there's a phrase in there that we're supposed to pray, Lord, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But when we ask for God's kingdom and God's will to be done, we're also saying, God, I want my kingdom and my will to go. I'm choosing to replace what I want with God, what you want. And so when you say yes to Jesus, really what you're doing is you're saying, Jesus, I'm gonna put your purposes and your plans ahead of my own purposes and my own plans. Now, I know that might seem terrifying because you're like, well, if I don't look out for number one, who's going to? Jesus is already looking out for you so much so that he came and he lived a perfect life and he died on a cross and he rose again. Everything God has done is for your benefit. And so when you put the purposes and plans of Jesus, his heart, his desires before your own, not only will all the things you ever dreamed and hoped for come to pass, not in the way you think it will, but you will live a life full of substance and fulfillment and a tremendous joy, but it won't be all about you. Your pride goes away and then the purposes and plans of God come to fruition. So listen, say yes to Jesus today. What I want you to do in the comments, I want you to write a couple areas. This is where I'm saying yes to Jesus. I'm gonna do this thing. And we wanna be able to celebrate as each one of us follows Jesus because that's what this life is all about, following Jesus. God bless you guys.